Hey there, I'm Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise, and today VBug and I are going to give a demonstration of how to play this game right here, Challenge O oh, the Super Friends. <laughs> So VBug, we are going to do a sample game of Challenge of the Super Friends because this is a light, simple, quick and easy card game that plays in six rounds and it's so easy even the Legion of Doom could play it. <laughs> it's because they're villains and they're, they're not the heroes. Will you be so kind as to read the contents of the box while I prepare the playing area? Contents. 82 cards. 4 10 player... 10 card player decks. Which are these? 10 challenge cards. Which are these? A rule book and 32 objective cards. This is the rule book and here are the 32 objective cards. Now we are ready to go after we choose which hero we want to be. We have four 10 card decks that have all of our different power cards. So which of these characters would you like to play? Oh, you're going to be Aquaman? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be Aqua and Man. You're going to be Aqua and Man. All right. I will be Batman and Robin. And uh, we'll have Wonder Woman playing as a uh, randomly generated third player right over there. And Superb Man, I'm sorry, you are not going to be involved in this game. Each of our decks contains 10 cards. Each of them has a different power and potential special ability that goes off. And what we're going to do is we are going to shuffle these up. And deal yourself a hand of three. Then what we do is we take this objective deck and we put it here in the center of the play area. And you reveal one objective card for every player. And the objective cards have a varying amount of victory points that they are worth and sometimes special abilities. However, the rules state in the very first round of the game, if there's any cards that have special abilities, you shuffle them in back into the deck. So we will do that now. There's also this little deck of challenge cards, which will go off to the side, which will be triggered sometimes in special situations. All three of us are going to look at our hands of three cards, and we are going to each secretly choose one card from our hand, and we are going to play it face down. And once each of us has chosen the card, we're going to take these cards. Let's see. So there is yours, here's mine, and here is the third player's. And we will go in power order from most powerful down to least powerful. And if anyone plays a card that has the same matching power, then you go by this secondary number to determine who goes next. But before we start taking cards and doing things, we check our special abilities. If another player also reveals the flash this round, you, you each reveal a random power card from your hand and add that to your card's total power. So no one else played the flash, so that doesn't go off. Then we go next to Wonder Woman who says, if you are the first to choose an objective card this round, put this in your hand and put a new objective card in your hand in front of you and you still choose first. Well, Flash is going to choose first, so this power does not go off. And now Hawkman, before anyone else chooses an objective card this round, you may swap this card for another player's power card that has an even power number. Ooh, this does go off. Flash over here has an even number. So I'm going to just beep, swap that with you. And now I pick first. Hawkman, even faster than the Flash. So first, I will activate my ill-gotten Flash, and I'll use that to take this Gorilla Grod, and that goes in your discard pile. Next, we have Wonder Woman, who will take this 10 victory point card, put it, we'll make a victory point pile right here, discard pile, and that leaves Hawkman taking that. All right, everybody draws back up to three cards in their hands. Objective cards equal to the number of players come out. Uh-oh. When revealed, each player shuffles their discard pile into their deck. So, shuffle that back in. Why is that a bad thing? There is no good and bad. That's what the Super Friends teaches us, is that everything is a shade of gray. If this is discarded because no one gained it, each player draws a challenge, which are these nasty little cards right here. Pick from your hand a card you wish to play. And now, we reveal. When this is revealed, you may draw a card and then discard a card from your hand. If you discard a card with four or less power, add that card's power to this one. So then you choose and discard one. Oh, what's that one? There you go. That makes that an eight. So now you will pick second. I am going to pick this three victory points. And Wondered Woman will take negative nine. Draw a new card. Three new objectives. Negative seven, negative six. And another three, yikes. Possessed by brain creatures. You know, as you do. If you gain this, show your hand to another player. 
it could be very, very advantageous to pick first or pick last sometimes. Or save your really good fast high picks for later in the game. Can you give me a random card that Wonder Woman played? All right. No other player played the Flash. Ooh, Green Lantern draws a challenge. Ooh, Green Lantern gets the old challenge. Put this in your score pile. It is worth negative two victory points. Sorry, Wonder Woman. Me, if another player also reveals a special power card, noted with special on the bottom, which no one did, thank you very much. But if they had, that player and I may have each discarded a card from our discard pile, which could be really useful if you get one of these guys. Wonder Woman is going to pick this one for three victory points. And I get negative seven. Oh, when revealed, each player shuffles their power cards into their deck and draws three new cards. Do you think it would change the way the game plays out? Of course. All right, let's simultaneously reveal. If you are the first to choose an objective card this round, which she is, you may also choose an objective card for another player. That player does not get to choose an objective card this round. Uh-oh. All right, we will randomize that. And utility belt, if you would gain utility an objective belt. If you would gain an objective card, you may instead swap an objective card with one from your score pile. Ho, ho, ha, ha. So Wonder Woman is going to choose one first. Wonder Woman will take this one. Go get one of those dice. I'll be four through six. All right, I'm one through three. You're four through six. Okay, Wonder Woman is going to choose a card for me. Wonder Woman is probably going to give me this terrible one. Unless you think Wonder Woman might give me the four points. She won't. You take that one. Utility belt. However, instead of getting this negative four, if you would gain an objective card, which I am, you may instead swap an objective card with one from your score pile. So I will swap one. Ha ha. Utility belt. Utility belt. Utility belt. Utility belt. Utility belt. Uh oh. Special power cards played this round have negative two power. Remember that. And when revealed, which it just was, the player with the most victory points in their score pile discards a special power card from their hand. So Wonder Woman currently has eight, so I have the most. High drive. I have no special power cards in my hand. <laughs> Utility belt. Let's choose them, those cards. Wow, we all played really low cards. When revealed, look at each player's hand. This has plus three power for each other Wonder Twins card in hands or that player played this round. Uh-oh. Wonder Woman has no Wonder Twins. However, I do, so you get plus three, making that a seven. When you gain an objective card, choose another player to draw a challenge card. Thanks, Wonder Woman. And you can't gain any objective cards with negative victory points this round. I pick next, but I cannot take any objective cards out with negative VP, so I don't have to take those. And when you gain an objective card, I guess Wonder Woman will take that one. Choose a player to take a challenge card. Again, one through three, four through six. Wait, if that was mom, she'd choose you though. Well, we're <coughs> leaving it up to Lady Luck. You! Get a challenge card. Put it down here and let's see what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. At the end of the round, close your eyes. After the objective cards are revealed at the start of the next round, they are turned face down. Open your eyes and proceed as normal. So you are not going to know what the objective cards are. You're going in blind for this final round. So you can't look. We got this guy. We got this guy. We got that one. Dun, dun, dun. Pick your card. We got Batman's, Wonder Woman's, Aquaman's. Before anyone chooses an objective card this round, you may swap this card for another player's card that has an even power number. Oh, you did it. If another player also reveals a flash, which no one did, when you gain an objective card, choose another player to draw a challenge card. <laughs> flash, you pick first. Oh, nice choice. You got the 14 point Brainiac. Wonder Woman chooses next, so Wonder Woman's gonna choose this one, which leaves me with this one. I gain an objective card. I'm going to assign a challenge card to, I actually think I'm going to assign it to Wonder Woman because I think Wonder Woman is in the lead. But man, that 14 Yeah, obviously. In a short while, any and all resistance to the Legion of Doom will crumble, says Lex Luthor. No effect. Ah, oh, Wonder Woman, you lucked out. And now that we've played those six rounds, it's time to add up them points. Wonder Woman has 12. 
How many did you have? 17. And I have 15. You won. You did it. You are the superest of friends, little V-Bug. Even if you come up from negative three points, you can rise to the top and win the game. I had negative three points, and that was my breaking point. I chose my most powerful card, and I chose the 14-point card, and then I ended up with 17 points. So no matter how low you start, if you even start with negative numbers, you can always rise up and win. Inspiring. Well, that is how to play Challenge of the Super Friends from Cryptozoic Games. Thanks for checking it out with us, and we'll talk to you again soon. Who's your speechwriter? Tootie Bell.